So the number one thing to make accessibility really easy is just use semantic HTML. So make sure you use the right tags for the right components, make sure you use forms correctly. And I highly recommend that you just check out Remix or React Router, which is called nowadays, because it basically forces you to write semantically correct HTML because the way that the API works, like it wants to have forms, it wants to have buttons. And then once you have exhausted, because there's only limited things that you can build with the semantic HTML, for example, for a more complicated combo box, you need components and then I recommend just using Shetzian to build the mainstream but it is built on top of Radix UI and it's a suite of components that are unstyled and then Shetzian has styled them for you which come with accessibility baked in and if you do those two things you're already like 80% there of the way. Obviously there are edge cases where you could implement these things wrongly and to catch those I recommend you use something like X Playwright which is a plugin for your end-to-end -end tests if you're doing end-to-end -end tests. You can also run these X tests manually but better to write tests and then you just have an X plugin in there and for each page that you have, it checks that the page doesn't contain any accessibility issues and then it warns you already in your CI/CD pipeline and that catches some more percent. Then there are still like 5% of edge cases that even this plugin cannot catch and that will not be automatically handled by using semantically correct HTML and a good accessible component library. But those things you have to learn in context and then over time you get a feeling of what is accessibility, especially if your app or your company tries to launch in a zone like Australia or certain parts of the EU where these things are mandatory and suddenly you're not allowed to sell then accessibility will become a priority really quickly.